Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo, official sponsor of Carolina Athletics. And brought to you by Coke Zero Sugar, Coca-Cola with zero sugar and now even more delicious. Carolina Ford, built for the Carolinas, built Ford proud. Visit your Carolina Ford dealer today. And by Hardison and Cochran, dial 919 all fours for a free legal consultation. Hello again and welcome to another edition of the Carolina Insider. What a wild week we have to recap for you, of course, because of that crazy football game on Saturday night. Carolina gets out to the big lead. Miami plays much better in the second half, gets the football down three in the final minutes, and the Tar Heels hold on. 45-42, the final score. We'll go through highlights and post-game reaction from that. That wasn't the only action, though, this weekend in Chapel Hill. The unofficial start to the basketball season occurred as well. That was the late night event the Friday before that matchup with Miami. We'll show you some footage from those activities. Adam Lucas and I had a chance to talk with Chris Miltonberg. He is the director of track and field and cross country here at Carolina. Those cross country teams quietly having really good seasons. They're both ranked in the top 25. So you'll hear some of that conversation over the next half hour as well. But we will start with football. Tar Heels play a really high quality 30 minutes in the first half against Miami. Built a multiple score lead going to the break. Let's see some of the highlights of the first half from Carolina and Miami in Chapel Hill. On the short side of the field, that is the right side for this third down play. How clean pocket, now he will run, has the first down and slides down right at midfield. You would not have believed that if you'd been here 45 minutes ago. Hand off to Chandler, cuts back, Chandler into the secondary. 30, 25, hits the Jets and he will go. Ty Chandler for six. And great job by Chandler, the, the offensive line can get you to the second level, but once you get there, it's up to you to make the first defender miss. Chandler did that. He'll try the play again with the swing pass to Chandler. This time they complete it, and Chandler heads up the far numbers for close to the first down before he's spun down, and it will indeed move the chains to the 47-yard line. 7-7 the score. Carolina on third and two with 8.15 to go in the first quarter. Heels going right to left on the near hash. Howell's going to throw for it. Wide open. It's downs middle of the field. Downs into the open. Good bye. Josh Downs continues to set the standard for wide receivers, not just here, not just the ACC, gosh, the whole darn country. Touchdown, Carolina. Miami, of course, can get a first down without scoring at the eight. Van Dyke will throw. Pressure coming, he's down immediately. Taman Fox almost took the shotgun snap. So Carolina started this drive on its own, or started this set of downs on the 36. Now how out of the pocket, cuts up the field, slides down at the marker. He'll have the first down. So how using his legs effectively yet again, it will be a throw. How with pressure coming, steps out of the trouble, still on his feet, comes to the near sideline, gets a nice block from Chandler, and is knocked down from behind over the 35-yard line. And John Copenhaver, another tight end on the left. How play action, dumps it to Copenhaver, and he's going to score. John Copenhaver, the redshirt freshman from Roswell, Georgia, finds the end zone for the first time in his Carolina career. But on the other side, on the left side of the defense, somebody has to be there to set the edge because Tamar Fox would have flushed him right to you. Intercepted on the pass. Picked off by Cedric Gray after Grimes tips it. And Carolina will take it inside the Miami red zone with the football. Now hand off to Chandler. A wide open lane right down the freeway for the touchdown. Boy, that's one of those, you're driving late at night all by yourself. You might gas it a little bit more than normal. There was nobody around Chandler for six. Van Dyke claps his hands, heels rush just four. Van Dyke intercepted, Cam Kelly flashed in front of the intended receiver, Keyshawn Smith, and brings it home. Van Dyke just stared at Smith, tried to get it to him on the near hash. Atkins from 48. Snap back, spot down. Kick is up, and boy, with a lot of leg, it is right through there. 
So Atkins, after missing a 52-yarder a moment ago, gets another chance from 48 and gives Carolina some points going into the locker room. Introducing 48 square centimeters of earning potential. Flawlessly designed, undeniably versatile, unlimited 2% cash back. This is the card built for real life. She's going to be a drummer. Yeah, she is. That's going to get loud. Right? The new Wells Fargo Active Cash Visa credit card. Unlimited 2% cash back on purchases. That's real life ready. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. This is Ford Truck Month. So are you ready for a ride? Now is the time to get a great deal on Ford Ranger, Ford Super Duty, and the all-new 2021 Ford F-150. Get our best offers of the year and see what Built Ford Tough can do for you. Welcome to the show, America. Welcome to the show. For a limited time, get 0% financing for 72 months on a 2021 Ford F-150 during Ford Truck Month. See your Carolina Ford dealer today. I need to try it first. Yeah. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. Wow, this new Coca-Cola Zero Sugar. Is it the best Coke ever? No! Yes! No! Yes! No! Yes! Okay, I'm gonna try it first. Yes! I need to try it first. Does your team mean the world to you? Then we're just alike. My team here at Hardison and Cochran means the world to me. And just like you, I have nothing but confidence in my team when it's on the line. If you've been injured at work and facing a blitz from the insurance company, I welcome you to call on me and my team. We have three workers' compensation experts ready to put in the game to protect you and your family. Hardison and Cochran, attorneys at law, here for you. 919 all fours. Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo. Even though you felt like the Tar Heels dominated that first half statistically against Miami, it was still just a two score game at the break with Carolina leading 31 17 and like good teams do, Miami came back in the second 30 minutes. The Hurricanes played much better. Tar Heels had just enough, though, including Jeremiah Gimmel and Cedric Gray combining for the big play at the end. Let's see the second half highlights and postgame reaction from Coach Brown. Howe with Chandler to his left. Olsen wide left way out there. I mean, he split outside the numbers. As Howe will pull it, throw it. Green at the 40. Green at the 50. Miami trying to catch up from behind eventually to Corey Couch. Able to ride Antoine Green down, but that is inside the Hurricane 35. And Heels going left to right, ball on the near hash at the Hurricane 30. Heels need six for the first down. Howe will try and get it with his legs, he does. Cuts back at the 20, bounces off the tackle. Howe, 10-5, touchdown Carolina! As dual threat as it gets. Sam Howe for six. Ariels desperately need a stop. Van Dyke going to throw, and it's knocked down at the line of scrimmage. Cedric Gray elevated and got two hands on the football. Gray already with a pick today. Van Dyke is in the shotgun. Two receivers to the right, one to the left, and he will throw. Looks to his right. His throw dropped. Incomplete. Harley was checked by Biggers and couldn't bring it in. Three receivers to the right. Pressure gets there. He'll dump it off to Chandler. A flag comes in. Chandler does not have enough for the first down, but I think it's going to be a roughing the passer. Yep. As Howe is still down in the backfield, James Williams, the freshman, I think, picked up the personal. Huge third down here at the 11. Heels can get a first down at the three. Howe, pump fake to the right. Now he's going to run to the left. Howell at the five, takes a shot, pinballing off the chains, 
for the touchdown. Sam Howe showing the toughness for six. Now everybody pushing and shoving. Flags coming in. 45-42. Chapman defending alone on the left side. Van Dyke's going to come to the near side instead. Caught by Rambo. Immediate tackle by Grimes at the 16. 20 seconds to go. Heels up three. Van Dyke. Play action. His pass is tipped and being bounced around. Caught. Intercepted. Cedric Gray, I believe. The ball was tipped. And Cedric Gray comes out of the scrum with the football. Carolina in desperate, desperate need of something good. Gets it thanks to Gimmel and Gray to close it out at the end. Tonight we said uh, we're playing a very, very talented team. Uh, probably as talented as, as we'll play. And there's going to be some ups and downs. There's going to be some adversity, and you're going to be in trouble. Uh, just find a way to win. That's the only thing that's important tonight. So uh, there'll be all the, all the coaches will wanna, out there will want to gripe about this and gripe about that. I'm really, really happy that we beat Miami. And uh, give them credit. Quarterback played well. We let them off the field too many times on third and fourth down, but we had the great fourth and four stop that might have won the game before the interception uh, at the end by uh, our two backers. And, and Coach Bateman put them in the right place. But uh, with Jeremiah tipping the ball, and, and it, I mean, that thing stayed in the air for about an hour and a half. I saw it go through uh, 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 Ritzy's hands, and they, I think it, it might have been uh, Vahasek. They were all fighting for it, and it was all tipping. I said, somebody, somebody just get that ball. And... And obviously we did to, to make a play to win the game. So uh, entirely too many penalties. I think there will be some we'll probably send to the conference office tomorrow uh, to be reviewed. Uh, but we'll keep looking at that every day to see if we can do a better job by, by having fewer penalties. Uh, Sam Howell was unbelievable with his ability to make plays with his feet. Um, so just uh, thought the kicking game was really good. We were so close to blocking two punts. We were right there and just, just couldn't get there, and we had a great kickoff return. Um, but the, the most important thing uh, and, and the thing that I'm so excited about is we found a way to win. This is Ford Truck Month. So are you ready for a ride? Now is the time to get a great deal on Ford Ranger, Ford Super Duty, and the all-new 2021 Ford F-150. Get our best offers of the year and see what built Ford Tough can do for you. Welcome to the show, America. Welcome to the show. For a limited time, get 0% financing for 72 months on a 2021 Ford F-150 during Ford Truck Month. See your Carolina Ford dealer today. Introducing 48 square centimeters of earning potential. Flawlessly designed. Undeniably versatile. Unlimited 2% cash back. This is the card built for real life. She's gonna be a drummer. Yeah, she is. That's gonna get loud. Right? The new Wells Fargo Active Cash Visa credit card. Unlimited 2% cash back on purchases. That's real life ready. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. Wow, this new Coca-Cola Zero Sugar. Is it the best Coke ever? No! Yes! No! Yes! No! Yes! Okay, I'm gonna try it first. Yes! I need to try it first. Does your team mean the world to you? Then we're just alike. My team here at Hardison & Cochran means the world to me. And just like you, I have nothing but confidence in my team when it's on the line. If you've been injured at work, and facing a blitz from the insurance company, I welcome you to call on me and my team. We have three workers' compensation experts ready to put in the game to protect you and your family. Hardison and Cochran, attorneys at law, here for you. 919 All Fours. Try it first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo. Mid-October now, which means we are just a few weeks away from the beginning of basketball season in early November. Tar Heels had the unofficial start to the year with their late night event on Friday night. And of course, this was a big one. The first one with Hubert Davis as the new head coach. Let's see some footage from Friday night in the Smith Center and late night in HD. It's Tar Heel Nation in the building. Make some noise. From Rochester, Minnesota, wearing number one, Alessa Usby. He's a junior. His name is Armando Bacon. Armando. to introduce to you the leader of the next era of Carolina basketball, Coach Hubert Davis. The thing about Kerwin when he makes it, and I think this is what a pure shooter gets, the net barely even moves. He's got a very, very interesting stroke. They have not only won, but have blown by 17. He said they were going to get hot. He got his own rebound and still made it. I love it. This is exactly what we need. We want to see him get hot like that this season. Caleb McPherson and R.J. Davis gave it a good run, but in extra time. It's the duo of Eva Hodgson and Kerwin Walton who will take the three-point contest. Missed by Davis, picked up by Baycop, quickly back the other way. Caleb Love elevated. Now, this is no surprise to us. There were games where he absolutely took over. I think of that Duke game over in Durham where he was the reason that they won. Harris with a baseline drive for the reverse, kisses it off the glass. He's going to take shots. I think that we're going to expect a lot from this stretch in this season. Baycock going to step out for three. So That's, look what I can do. Absolutely no hesitation there. See, you're going to try another three this time. It's true. Kerwin a little bit strong on that three-point attempt. Rebounded by Leaky Black looking for the long outlet pass. Kerwin going to knock it away. Here comes the blue team. Love with a pull-up three. Knocks it down. Love looking to attack, goes to the left hand, and he'll get it. Boy guarding Manic. Cross court pass to Davis. Thought about it, second time, he'll knock it down. Davis step back three, far side. He's got back to back threes. Harris with a no look pass down to Manic. That's beautiful basketball. I think that, to your point, immediately we saw the ball moving much better on that possession. Quick outlet from, uh, outlet from Baycott to McCoy. Garcia off the mark. Quickly back the other way. Another transition basket as Walton flushes it. Davis looking for a pull up three. Gets it. Now, again, difficult shot. But I think that RJ's got the capacity to make it. And... Styles brings it across half court and will set up the O. Styles mid-range jumper knocks it down and that'll be the ball game. It's interesting to see the freshman hit the game winning shot. 60-45 gonna be the final as Blue wins the scrimmage here for the men's team. I really like the versatility that we have on both ends of the floor. You know, defensively, uh, our our bigs can guard guards out on the perimeter and our guards can guard bigs down low on the block and um, we have so much versatility in, on the offensive end. One of the things that we wanted to do is we wanted to have spacing, balance, and movement and allow our guys to have space to be able to use all their gifts and talents. 
now we've got bigs that can shoot the ball and it automatically gives our space so that RJ and Caleb and other guys can attack the basket. So I like where we are right now. Introducing 48 square centimeters of earning potential, flawlessly designed, undeniably versatile, unlimited 2% cash back. This is the card built for real life. She's gonna be a drummer. Yeah, she is. That's gonna get loud. Right? The new Wells Fargo Active Cash Visa credit card. Unlimited 2% cash back on purchases. That's real life ready. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. This is Ford Truck Month. Now is the time to get a great deal on Ford Ranger, Ford Super Duty, and the all-new 2021 Ford F-150. Get our best offers of the year and see what Built Ford Tough can do for you. Welcome to the show, America. Welcome to the show. For a limited time, get 0% financing for 72 months on a 2021 Ford F-150 during Ford Truck Month. See your Carolina Ford dealer today. to try it first yeah, yeah, yeah. your life is more flexible and efficient than ever and your energy is too see how north carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter wow this new coca-cola zero sugar is it the best coke ever no yes no! yes no! yes okay i'm gonna try first yes I need to try it first. Does your team mean the world to you? Then we're just alike. My team here at Hardison & Cochran means the world to me. And just like you, I have nothing but confidence in my team when it's on the line. If you've been injured at work and facing a blitz from the insurance company, I welcome you to call on me and my team. We have three workers' compensation experts ready to put in the game to protect you and your family. Hardison & Cochran, attorneys at law, here for you. 919 all fours. Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo. Welcome back to the show. Thanks so much for being with us. Let's wrap up by changing directions a little bit. We will talk to Chris Miltenberg, the director of track and field and cross country here at Carolina. Adam Lucas and I had an opportunity to talk with Coach Miltenberg earlier in the week really off to a terrific start with his men's and women's cross country teams, both ranked in the top 25. Let's hear some of that conversation with Coach Miltenberg. Presented by Coke Zero Sugar, Coca-Cola with zero sugar and now even more delicious. What a terrific start to the year it's been for the cross country programs, both the men and the women ranked in the top 20. First time in 15 years that they've both been ranked. What, what has been working so well with those programs? Yeah, it's, it's been really exciting to see both programs get off to such a good start. Obviously, we've got a long way to go. A lot of the season's still in front of us, but this is a, as good of a start as we could have hoped for. And I think the biggest thing on both sides, if you look at the men and the women, is we, we really don't have any one big outlier. It's been an entire team effort, mm. you know? We've got an incredibly young team on both sides. You know, our, our first recruiting class is now sophomores, our second recruiting class is freshmen. We've got some great upperclassmen that, that have, have stuck with us and really been part of us getting better. And on the men, we added one great graduate transfer in Jack Aho who came from Michigan. And so I think it's the intersection of all those pieces, a, a youth movement with some great upperclassmen that have really bought into the culture we're creating. And so, yeah, it's been really, really exciting. And I, I think we're gonna get a lot better in the next few weeks still. How do you build that kind of depth, especially on the recruiting trail? What are, what are you selling about Carolina track and cross country that seems to be connecting? Yeah, I think it's a couple big things. I mean, one is the idea of being part of something building, something that's coming up and coming up really quickly. And I think the people that we have, that's what they want. They want to be part of something you know, as we say, we're going to disrupt the entire establishment. If you look in the, in the NCAA over the last 25 years, in the men's and women's side, it's really been 
the same four or five, maybe six teams at the top, and we want to disrupt the whole thing. And so we've had people that are excited to be part of that. And, and then really what we talk a lot about in recruiting is people that are excited to be part of a team. You know, our sport is so easy to get caught up on individual results, and all through the recruiting process, we talk about coming part of what we're going to do as a team, and then you'll have your best individual results. And this comes purely from not having a life that has been in track and field and running and things like that. <laughs> Obviously, you want someone who runs fast, but how do you know if somebody's a good distance runner? I mean, I know obviously the times are going to be there, but, but what, how else do you identify somebody's like, you know what, this person's good? Yeah, well, it's, it's, you know, a lot of things. Obviously, the times to some extent speak for themselves, but we want to see people that can compete. You know, I think it's so easy to get fixated on just what times people run, but if you're running fast times, but you're finishing 10th in the race, we'd much rather the people that go out and compete to win. And if you do that all the time, then the times take care of themselves. So sure. we really try to find people that are great competitors more than just chasing fast times and perfect conditions is people that love to compete really well. And, and truthfully for us, with our current freshman class, we learned maybe the most about them by how they responded to the pandemic. You know, everybody that, that is a freshman now, we recruited in the spring of 2020 of their junior years when we started having contact with them. And you saw such... Uh, disparity in how different people we would talk to were handling. You know, certain kids we would call and, and say, oh, yeah, I don't, you know, I don't know if there's going to be a state meet. I'm not really training. Nope, not our guy. <laughs> you know, and, and, and then very quickly we identified the people who during the pandemic were doubling down on going to work and getting better, and those were the people we wanted. So, yeah, ironically, we might have learned more about them during the pandemic when they couldn't race than had we actually gotten a chance to watch them race. And, and so we learned about their character, and I feel like that's coming through so clearly now that they're actually here on the ground as well. Keep your eye on Carolina track and field, the distance. We've got the outdoor season, the indoor season coming up as well. Just keep your eye on it. Carolina's coming in this sport big time. Coach, great to see you as always. Appreciate your time, and best luck in the future. Yeah, thanks so much for having me, guys. This is great. After seven hard-fought weeks, including six conference games, the Tar Heels have a bye week next weekend. But that doesn't mean that we are taking a bye week here on the Carolina Insider. We'll have a ton of Tar Heel content for you next week. Can't wait to see you here on the Carolina Insider. Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo, official sponsor of Carolina Athletics. And brought to you by Coke Zero Sugar, Coca-Cola with zero sugar and now even more delicious. Carolina Insider is produced by Go Heels Productions for Tar Heel Sports Properties, a property of Learfield.